Thank you so much to Pastor MCL. You know, he is a pastor. I was born to the and that's the with it's Good Friday. And yes, Peter Corner inside the Speckle Kitchen, who chef way to our music with Lindsay Bingo. Lindsay, hello. It's holidays, people are on leave, people are driving already, you know. So people are actually home. I'm going to preparing some wonderful dishes. And yes, we did some, you know, Eastern inspired dishes in the past couple of weeks just to prepare people for today. And for Monday as well. You know? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Way, you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy we'll see from here. You know, I'm just gonna be relaxing. Yeah. On long, long, long weekend for us. A very long weekend. Uh, I'm it. working. It's you not a long weekend. Yeah. Oh, but you, you, you cook it. I'm cooking. Though. You're cooking, cooking some wonderful meals for us. It's not really work, is it? Really? No, no, no. It's, okay. it's, it's fun work. That's all. Right. You know, if I had to be a dancer for a living, yeah. that'd be fun. And then if I was just and I would dance it. with you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Mm. Lindsay Ongjele, yeah, yeah. let's see, I'm glad you get a special show. Yes. Uh, what's patele in? In patele, e beef, mm -hmm. uh, butternut and orange stew. Okay. If we have a Butternut and orange stew? Eh, hey, gazilu is a good one, butternut and orange. Uh huh. Kune olenji and it's butternut. The two go hand in hand. Okay. And uh, sweetness just bring out a bit of. But the thing is, we always like eating savory mm -hmm. beef, 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 beef. Mm -hmm. But now we're taking a little sa or candy, but lime zans. Okay, you know inspired what? by in most of the Well, it's very much an English dish. Oh. But an art in orange, but to balance out all the sweetness. Kind of paper. Oh, for, for just for that, that's the one that's Dr. Malinga cake. <laughs> 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 and then our like second that. dish, Nala Payana, is Pete Ufish in Lant. Oh, yeah. And we're doing a soup. So, this is definitely perfect for this weekend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Coming up to coldness, mm -hmm. Gabanda. Mm -hmm. So, I think a fish, a fish and tomato soup. Fish and tomato soup. Yeah. Okay, I'm. Mean, wait, whoa. So, if you serve a yoto and then you soup yoto or. No. With the onion. So, it's like roast out of the season, onion season, my peppers, more roast of roast roast. Was from nine, they were sweet, must in your plane, and funny stock salmon, and then I put my fish inside there. Oh wow, this is amazing! So it's gonna be very much a tomato and then a fish like essence. Okay, I'm <clears> looking, <throat> I'm looking forward to this. I've never had, I've had it, it, it fish stew, yeah, um, but in the fish kind of curry, yeah, but I've never had a fish soup today. You can so this is something different, yes. and, and, and also something different is uh, I've never thought what it is a fruity flavor with beef because usually, I uh, yes, I've heard of chicken or poultry. Yeah. Yeah. Beef used citrus, citrus flavors, mm -hmm. but not a beef. You are. I'm very much an experiment, experimental guy. Mm -hmm. So, yes. like, I saw the butternuts, I saw the oranges, I said, these two go together. Mm -hmm. I need an examine the beef. Oh, okay. Hey. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. This is indeed creative and outside <laughs> the box, just like our and it's like a meal that I can make it themselves. Okay. And then you turn out to you can do this both dishes in large quantities, especially yes. if you're serving for Indian yeah. and a makita yeah. like, yeah. you know. So it's a lovely idea for you, especially for uh, you know this part of the season. Chef Mami, it is not seasless. It's cut like cool. Okay. I'll lunch you. I'll give you a meal. I'll put my kitchen in the Babu Yele Kaya for the Ipatat and Orange Stew Yami. I'm going to create a hamburger. Gine beef shin, gine patanat, gine onions or kochiwe, gine celery, gine mazambane, o karoti, orange juice, o flour, o beef stock, o star anise, o garlic, o orange zest, o cast o orange, gine the cayenne pepper. Babu Yele Kai, to make my very simple beef but an orange stew. You first take your beef and you cube it up, and in a bowl, you dust some flour with it and add some salt and pepper. Heat up a large pot, a little bit of oil, and then you start browning your meat inside there. Make sure you coat it all over the paste, which is nice and rich and brown. After you brown your meat, you can then add in your onions, saute the onions off, and then add your carrots after that, your star anise, and then goes in your cayenne pepper. Let all of that come together together while you're mixing. Make sure you check your seasoning with salt and pepper. Check also your oil. Make sure you don't put too much oil inside it. And then you're going to add your carrots. Once it's all come in, then you add your stock. Don't add your potatoes in now because you've cubed them very, very small. So you want to add them in only halfway through your cooking process. Halfway through, then you'll add in your, your potatoes. And you'll also add in your juice. And lastly, in the butternut. And that's my version of making a very simple butternut orange stew. 
and Tebo Nanekaya, you enjoy making it like I did too. I'm ingredients I'm here for to make my roasted tomato and fish soup. Aham baganjin. Udinga, fish stock, in tanzi, no ma yipo itandayo. Mina, I'm gonna use a hake, tomato puree, red peppers, red onions, udamati sabakojiwe, some rice, chilies, garlic, and thyme. And those are all the ingredients you need to make your roasted tomato and fish soup. My method for making this very heartwarming fish and tomato soup goes like this. In a baking tray, your red onions, you're gonna add your tomatoes and your red peppers. And you can roast this off with some salt and some pepper and a little bit of olive oil. Make sure you roast for about half an hour at 180 degrees until it's nice and soft and a little bit caramelized apparently. If you're gonna take a fish stock yako and you're gonna reduce the with some chilies and some garlic. Once all your vegetables are finished cooking in the oven, you can put the fish in the stock with the chilies and with the garlic. And you let that cook together and come together even the nandi. After that, take a blender and you blend it all up together. You have a nice thick consistency of tomato, onions and red peppers. The last part of this is to add in your fish. You're going to chop your fish up into... The last part is you add your fish, your raw fish. Chop it up into the quarters or cubes and you add it in and you put it in the liquid for about four minutes. Make sure we do my overcook of fish work. And then last but not least, was a fagin rice lack together with the soup. So that will be your, your carbohydrate starch combined as soup in lack. Now that's my version of making roasted tomato and fish soup. I hope you guys enjoy making it a kai. Part of the evening where I actually get to taste a good dog and good Lindsay and Kumu Gusu Lindsay has been being very busy and my Dasa Dasa Aspay and Gulla Rahiko Nandi. Lindsay, yes, it's Good Friday, and I know very good the past couple of weeks over when Silaba Bugela Makai would see what wonderful uh, you know dishes they can actually create in the comfort of their own home. Good. And right now, you are also sharing us, you know, some hearty and warming, warming mm -hmm. and comfort, comfort meals food. and easy stuff, also, exactly. you know, obviously using you know, it's specular, especially the long grain purple rice. That's our hero, you know, yeah. it just needs <laughs> a cape. <laughs> <laughs> so today I've made two capes. <laughs> okay, okay. So today, yeah, I was going to say, since I roasted tomato and fish soup. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's looking absolutely. Yes, a ham and rice. A ham and rice. So we're going to have a blend of it towards the end. We're going to have a soup. We're going to have a little bit of 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 a little Mm -hmm. and then the soup on top. On top, so it can actually just, with the heat Soak also, it. Um, it actually just carry on cooking. You should be in the kitchen cooking with me. One day, <laughs> one day. And then moving over to our mm. stew. And then I made my favorite uh, beef banana orange stew. You say banana? Banana. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I think it's a banana. But then you time I'm doing it already. It's not a banana. Banana and orange juice. Everything is possible nowadays. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if someone. I mean, I've even had a tree peanut butter. Banana stew. Banana stew. Okay, I want to taste it. So, okay, banana. Um, it's banana. Banana. And then it's soup. Just wanna go into the gray. Yeah. Hey, me no more. Yeah, what's the deal? Yeah, see, I'm me. Me, I'm gonna say that she's not crazy. I'm not getting that overpowering flavor from, from your orange, your orange. citrus, you know? It's very light. Very light. Yeah, yeah, but it's so not too guess, dark as well, mm. but it's made lighter by the butternut and the orange. And the orange. Mm. And I guess the whole point was to actually just add the flavor. Just add You don't mm. want to change nyama to become orange. Of course not. Of course not. You need to taste the food in the yummy aqua. And what other tips would you give up? Okay. Mmm. 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 For boiled bakaya, you can add them at chickpeas. You can substitute it by tanadi for more potatoes, more corner. Mm -hmm. um, you can add more carrots. If you want to put more butternut, butternut. Yeah. or mm -hmm. maybe if you don't prefer your butternut in your stew, right? So you can just have, uh, you know, you substitute in an alternative kind of apple. Exactly. Okay. Now let's go. Let's give it a soup. 
see we've got our rice already in here so you just dish it up with rice yako and um, I thought maybe you were going to blend if fish no, like, you know but no, you're serving you, your fish you with hand nice chunks the fish. okay yeah there we go I'm just gonna taste it oh, just as it is mm. Mm. and the secret to the soup is that it has to be very very hot with the shai kai do you know what I mean many cheese this is absolutely yummy and in the mini saba i mean it's going to be very fishy and we have some overpowering you know flavors from the fish you know but you i think balance this is and the fish i'm loving this just the soup as it is and obviously a little bit of the grains from rice i'm loving this just the soup as it is and obviously a little bit of the grains from rice which will actually just fill you up perfect for soup so far you know, for the season, I, I love it. Myself too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Blow your own wood while you're at it. And I mean, it's Easter, so we're celebrating it. Is it fish? Mm. No, this is the perfect mm. one. I think I know what I'm gonna do. With soup, I'm gonna try this we'll try. because I usually do your 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 butter soup, mushroom, and French mm. onion soups. I'm gonna try the soup. I tell you what, I'm going to I can do the fish soup for tonight. Maybe it's good Friday, mm -hmm. and then on Sunday, then the eat butter and beef. I think that's yeah, actually an idea. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, well, it's a bit light for, for supper now, but <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe for supper like on Monday. Monday, Monday, yeah, Monday yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm loving this. But um, thank you. Bye bye to this. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, Can't wait to see you to next week, Footy. Also, we'll spend a little bit. Uh, maybe check the match. From surprise, isn't it? Surprise. Yes, we want to keep the viewers yes. also tuned in. Thank you so much Mbugelige for joining us in this wonderful installment to take us a kitchen if you want to enter the caterer after year competition you better enter now details appearing on the screen and if you want these wonderful recipes log on to the speckle website or go and get their facebook page but to get from now with cindy and the awesome <laughs> saying happy, happy cooking, cooking. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.